bosom of the hill fort there. There's um, Brent No, not Brent No, Breen Down. Sitting there, that's the view you would have had, the Iron Age. And this would have been the entrance up through the fort here. I've taken a few photos. There's a big bunch of black cows sheltering under a tree there. Hopefully they'll be okay. Now I haven't been this close to any cows for a while. So I'm just hoping they don't curious cows and they're just quite happy to let me walk past. So I'm, I've actually done the fort now, so I won't be going up through the stream. What I'll do now, and I won't be going across, um, straight across the area of outstanding beauty either. What I intend to do today is skirt the, round this side of um, Roborough Fort, not Robo Fort, Robo Warren. Skirt round that bit of it. See, there's some cows there. Look. See? There's a tail wagon very close to me. <sighs> Apparently, Somerset, that was announced on the news yesterday, is the worst county in the country for deaths. From on farms and from farming type activities. Um, I got a feeling, I'm not sure, but 30 people were killed last year in farming incidents. And, um, yeah, um, a farmer was on there saying he'd been chased by a bull before now. You, you, you can get attacked by your own cows. And, and cattle, so he said it was a horrifying experience. He managed, well, he survived it. So that you can see why I'm being, I'm concerned, can't you? Because he described how cows will, if they feel like it, can, will, will, will kill you. If they feel at all threatened, especially if they've got calves, they would, they would fight to the death. Even if you're not really threatening them. If they think you are. The cow thinks you are. There's just one that strayed off there. There were some people back there. Oh, I just love being out. Yeah, I was thinking of going up through the valley and then going to Tynings Farm. I'm still going to Tynings Farm. I'm just, I just, well, I decided just, I just as well do the uh, fort. I wanted to explore a couple of new tracks. So I thought I'd just as well do the fort. See, there were a few people on the hill. I've never really been able to video up there without anyone being up there. There was people even down in the dips of picnicking and... There's something ahead, I don't know what that is. Let me see. Is that people? Oh no, it's logs. So, I have been up here. I walked from Cheddar last time, came the other way up. Um, and then I made my way to Winscombe on that particular walk, which is all on YouTube. It's all been recorded. <sighs> Save to disc, WMV, everything in different clouds. I'll have people all over the world watching them <sighs> to get an idea of our beautiful Somerset countryside. <sighs> and I'm, I, I think I've inspired a few people as well to actually go and start exploring their own... I mean, like I said, because you're working, you've got a family, you don't get time. You literally don't get the time to do what I'm doing now, which is just go out. Go out for a whole day. Six, eight, ten hours if you want. You see, there's no ties. I'm free. I'm not t uh, attached to nobody either. I'm not saying that's... I'm not decrying. That's just how I am. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm a free spirit. Free as a bird, as Bowie said. Free as a bluebird or whatever. Just like that. Dolphin. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so um, I'm exploring all different aspects of this countryside. There's a lot to explore. I mean, I haven't even been on that side yet. There's gateways and, you know, there's just so much to explore here. You know, there's styles and woods. I've just, today, I've just been through areas I've never been. You know, I'm 65 years old. And, uh... Like I said, I've been, some people are inspiring them to try and get out a bit earlier. I mean, I always used to take my kids up Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak were our two main things, and Breen Down. So, you know, I did try and do something when I had them small. Now, they're doing it with their children. And I've taken one or two of my grandchildren on, so I haven't brought them here. Um, you also got to think that... Sometimes you need to push them a bit to come out on these walks because it is good for them. And although they might not think it at the time always, they they will look back and think, oh, that was, that was nice, really. Get away from a bit of technology, you know. I mean, I've got two phones on me because one's got no credit, but it's good for time. <sighs> the other one's all held together with elastic bands, but it's got the credit on it just in case I need to contact anybody and I've got my digital camera so you could say I'm cheating really you could say I'm cheating that tree there I expect that was much bigger once you think or has the wind shaped it like that Yes, like I said, I'll, be, I'll go down the other side of the hill for it now. I mean, I was hoping, in many ways, to have found the steps leading down there so that I could have gone up through the valley. It means, really, going in that Dalbury Warren on another occasion, simply hunting for them. I'm going to do it in the winter when there's no leaves or bracken or ferns about and less creatures. I'll go in there then. I'm huffing and puffing because I'm up and down hills, by the way. I'm up and down hills. All the time. See, some people are only out to do a small walk. They don't realise the hours I've already walked. And I've still got hours left. I've got about... I would say I've easily got about three hours of walking to do. Now, one of the routes I was thinking of doing, I don't know if I will now, because I've done this diversion. I was thinking of getting to Tiny's Farm. Then walk in, as if I'm going to Piney Slights, but instead of turning off for Piney Slights, I, uh, oh God, it's hot. I, ca I carry on to a, a quarry area, a cheddar quarry area. Near Axbridge, really, or in between Axbridge and Cheddar, there's a big quarry. And um, then getting on the drove, the Winscombe Drove, and back to the bus stop that way. Right, somebody coming, I'm going to turn off for a minute. 